some of my friends would describe me as like a very artistic person. I love going out and doing my own thing. Um, definitely being in my own space is a very big priority, as well as someone like people can go to. Being a like trustworthy person. I'm really big into like alternative music along with EDM. I go to a lot of concerts, for sure, a lot. <laughs> When I do hang out with my friends, we go to like parties or just like hang out at someone's house and just, you know, just chill. I, again, I love socializing, so it's definitely something I do consistently. I didn't have many friends growing up, so I always had one best friend. I've had her like forever. It's been over a decade, her and I. And eventually we ended up going to different schools, so I was really alone for a long time. In eighth grade, whenever I first had my first like actual boyfriend, um, it was definitely a really weird process because like this is my first time having a boyfriend and having that experience was very confusing. It was very difficult because I didn't know what I was doing wrong. I didn't know if like I was doing things right. When the relationship became so overbearing, I just felt uncomfortable with it. I felt absolutely, I just did not want to be smothered in that. and that left me feeling very overwhelmed. I guess when it comes to new relationships, it definitely gave me trust issues. Being able to go into another relationship was really hard for me at the time because I didn't know if this person was also gonna turn out like the person I was with beforehand. And that was a, an emotional roller coaster for sure. That after it ended and everything, there was this time period where I was just really, really like, in a dark place and I, I just needed some kind of support. My counselors ended up reaching out and told me about SAFE, so I, I was very happy to be able to engage with people and learning about different experiences and learning that I'm not alone in this kind of thing and making friends in the process. We do a little bit of meditation, which I love. Um, and I love being able to talk about anything in that group and especially with other people. Our main topics would definitely have to be relationships. Relationships is a really big thing in our group and again it's also another important thing to talk about um, whatever you're going through in the moment or in the past. Being an expect respect definitely helped a lot with knowing the difference between bad and healthy relationships and one thing I really love about it is being able to like center myself. expect respect is something that should be accessible in all schools. It would definitely help a lot of students out there.